Hello everyone, my name is Jim Shear. I'm the author of the Music 101 workbook that you'll be using in your Music 101 class at New Mexico State University this fall. I've also helped design the Canvas website that you're currently looking at. Your professor for the fall is Daniel Vega Albela. Daniel is a member of the La Catrina String Quartet, a member of our string faculty. You'll be hearing from him soon. NMSU has requested that because of the COVID-19 crisis, we reach out to students early, particularly in what we call brick and mortar or face-to-face -face classes, to let them know how the class is going to be delivered. The problem is, as of today, August 6th, we still don't know. Your class is currently scheduled to be in Hardman, room 126. That class is not big enough, that room, sorry, is not big enough to accommodate social distancing for the class. So the class is probably going to move rooms. We don't know if we can archive classes. We don't know if we can stream classes. So we're still waiting on all of that technology. Regardless of how the class eventually is delivered, I can tell you the following. You will have four tests. You will have a series of study guides that you turn in, and you will do five concert reviews over the course of the semester with the option of doing an extra five for extra credit. That's going to happen in one way or another. And I'm going to show you around the class today and regardless of how the final delivery method comes down, the class is going to work pretty much like what I show you. Right now, you are looking at the Get Started video. Normally, that's the first thing on the page, but this semester it's a little different. There is critical COVID information, and we've added module links for that. You're going to see this in every class you take, so just get ready for it. There are forms to fill out. There are quizzes to take. You must complete that COVID-19 information before you can do anything else in the class. And once you've got that done, you're done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. It is critical that you get a copy of the book. It is titled Music 101, and you need a hard copy of the book. There are homework assignments that you, actually it's like a little checkbook, and you just rip them out, tear them out carefully, <laughs> tear them out and turn them in in class. That's normally how we do it. We expect that will be the delivery method, but we're not 100% sure. But regardless for now, for this class, for face-to-face -face classes, we're still requiring a hard copy of the book. I'm going to show you the ebook, And uh, when you buy the hard copy of the book, on the inside front cover, just as soon as you open it, there is a little code. You scratch that off. You go to the Kindle Hunt website, which I'll show you. That's the publisher website. And you'll also get ebook access. Even more important, that's how you access the streaming media. That's how you access all of the legal, that's critical, that you have legal access to all of the listening material we're going to use this semester. Now, the book's more expensive than we'd like it to be, but trust me, it's $150 cheaper than any other book in the market, and that's why we built it this way specifically for NMSU, and it has some of the best listening you can find. Dr. Shear should turn off his phone before he starts making a video. Sorry about that. Um, you have the class syllabus. It's in a printer-friendly version here, and it's also over on the left-hand side right here. Works the same both ways. Tells you all the basic information about the class. When it's going to meet, who it is, office hours, again, the information about the text, how we use Canvas, the course learning objectives, all of the grading stuff, uh, concert review information, the final grading scale, so on and so forth. Now, the next thing down on the home page is the printer-friendly version of the class schedule. It's also right here as a course summary, and it's drawn on the assignment pages, which you don't see. You just see the stuff that's in the modules. But that's where these dates, times, and due dates and such come from. All right, so you have two ways to access that. And if we go back face-to-face, -face, you'll be getting a paper copy of this as well, of course. Go back to the home page here. You then have a link that says Streaming Media Access. This is actually a link to the main Kindle Hunt page. This is the publisher page. The first time you go here, you're going to want that access code from the front inside cover of the book. After you've plugged that in, put in all your information, the rest of the times you'll just use this login here. This is mine. Let me sign in. Once you've signed in, and you always have to do this every time, it, it throws you off pretty quickly. You're going to get to a page that looks something like this. Yours will look a little different. But you'll have these toggled areas. Find New Mexico State. Find your section of the class. I actually don't have this section up yet, but here's my summer section. It works exactly the same way. You click Submit, and it takes you to the e-version of the class. Now, the first thing you'll see is a welcome. You only have to do this once. 
I've read the syllabus. I have legal access. That's really critical because of the copyright issues we have involving the music. So you fill all of this out. You hit submit. You only have to do it once. You then have access to the ebook. Now, the ebook is an HTML version of the hard copy of the book you're going to buy. Um, you can certainly just work with the hard copy of the book and use the streaming media from a different link. It's right over here. I'll show you that in a minute. But the ebook's kind of nice because it has active links. So in the print book, there are things that, that say dig deeper. Well, in the HTML book, you can click on that link and it becomes an active link. We've also embedded all of the listening. So the listening guides are here where they would occur in the print book, but in the ebook, the streaming media actually streams. So when you press play, the music starts to play. As the time code runs here, you can see that there's a running time code in the listening guide. And some of them are far more extensive than the one I'm showing you here. So that's pretty handy. But, like I say, you're going to get the same thing in the print copy of the book. And if you prefer working in a paperback book, that's absolutely fine. Rather than going to the ebook, go over here to where it says Streaming Media. Here's all of the listening for the whole semester. And you can see it's by chapter. It actually still has, I think this is kind of funny, they actually still have the old CD tracking numbers here. Years ago, this book came with an actual hard copy of a CD, but who's got a CD player anymore, especially in their cars? But you can put this on your phone, you can stream it right through your phone. Once you have access legally to Kindle Hunt, you can do it however you want. Uh, so you can follow along in the print book. Again, just press play, and off it goes. There's a little few things you might have. That's a fun one. Again, fast forward, go forward, back and forth. You can adjust the volume up and down, and you're following along in the listening guide. So do it here, do it with the ebook, whatever makes you happy. Now, beyond that, there are a number of chapter activities posted here. We don't use any of these in the brick and mortar versions of the classes in MSU. We're doing other things, but it's still here for you. You can use it as a practice test. There's little listening things you can do. Um, there's a nice glossary that's uh, all active. And a lot of this uh, is tied, of course, to the HTML book. So you can click on the thing and it takes you here. It's all fancy. You see gradebook here? Ignore it completely. We use Canvas and we use the Canvas gradebook. We won't use any of this. So really for the Kindle Hunt website, the only thing you absolutely need is that first sign off. Hey, I've got legal access. If you choose to use the ebook, great. If not, here's the streaming media. This is how you access all the music that you have to listen to. It's the only way you can get it. So that's absolutely critical. All right, let me go back to the canvas. And here it is. This is the rest of it. Now, like I say, there's four tests. They are uh, Scantron tests, normally. Uh, true, false, multiple choice. Uh, they're very user friendly and they are not cumulative. So the first test covers chapters one through four. Test two covers chapter five. It's only one chapter, but it's a lot of information. That's why we do it that way. The next chapter covers the next, the next test covers the next few chapters. And the last test, the last few chapters in the book. Nothing cumulative, other than the fact that music itself by its nature is cumulative, right? So one thing happens, then another, then another. Uh, normally, we require concert reviews, live concert reviews. We obviously can't do that in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis. And so we're using instead a series of live concerts that have been filmed for you. Here's all the information. You can read about that. And then you have a link here that takes you to a page. Watch this video introduction first. It tells you individual stories about each one of the videos. And then you have a ton of individual videos you can choose from. You only have to do five. You can do up to five extra for extra credit. Generally, we encourage you don't click on the link here. Even though it's active here, what you really want to do is click on that and open it in a new page because a lot of these performances have absolutely fantastic information, show more, and you can read all about the music, you can read what people said, there's a lot of different stuff that you'll want to study as you go through the music. So you'll find opening it in a new link is, is always good and for some of them I've marked it's absolutely critical. You've got to read the notes for this Shostakovich piece to make sense, for example. You, you've got to read this link here about PDQ Bach to understand how it works. All of the concert reviews now exist, and this is the first time we've done this, they now exist in these modules. So instead of turning in hard copies in class like we've always done, 
uh, because of the COVID-19 crisis, you're going to upload them. So open any one of these. Click on this link. It takes you to the page I just showed you. There's a how to write concert reviews. It's on the home page. Just click there and it'll show you. There's the link. There it is. This is how to do it. And there's even a sample review. Don't copy this one. We've seen it before. It's also not one of the assignments this particular semester. And then you simply upload it. Upload it as a doc, a docx, or a PDF. We'll use this speed grader to grade it for you. And you're done. Piece of cake. Couldn't be easier. Like I say, you got to do five of them. Two are due by the midterm, the other three by the final. You don't have to wait that long. You can do them whenever you choose to do them. All good. So the big thing is we want you to have those experiences. We want you to have some concert review experiences, see some good music, see some things, hear some things you've never heard before. That's the main point of this class. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen. We don't know exactly how it's all going to be delivered, but that's the class and how it functions. A few more things for you to see. There's an active listening podcast that gets you started over the course of the semester. This is actually our first couple of lectures, but it's a good thing to review because active listening is a critical part of what we do. There are review sheets posted for each of the tests. You've got some nice links for Annenberg Media, Pandora. I love Classic FM. I just think it's a fantastic website. So lots of great stuff there for you to explore. Some professors will use PowerPoints, others don't, but we have them posted here. And then the study guides I mentioned earlier that you have to turn in. Well, obviously, there's a bunch of you in the class, so grading them and giving them back is really not an option. So what we do instead is this. You turn in the work, we grade it, you see the grade posted on Canvas. The grades are over here on the left-hand side. But a few days before the test, this link, which is currently blocked for you, will open up. And you can use this to study. So it's all the right answers. So we're not going to give you the right answers before you turn in the work. But a few days before the test, it comes up and trust us, some of the questions for the test come right from here. So it's a good place to study. There's also dig deeper uh, sections in the whole book. Again, they're active links on HTML. This is just a, a laundry list of all of them. Some of these links are a little busted. Uh, a few of them need work, but most of them are pretty hip. And this is for you. This is dig deeper. It's literally what it says. If you wanted to explore more, that's how to do it. So that's the class. Four tests. A series of study guides. Five concert reviews. You can do up to five extra for extra credit. All that information is on the syllabus. And here's everything you need to know. We will tell you more when we know it about exactly how the class is going to work. But that's what's going to cover the big thing. Go experience some new music. Hear some stuff you've never heard before. I guarantee you're going to hear some stuff you like. You're going to enjoy it. Have a great semester.